on People Behind the Puppets. I'm talking to Alicia Britt. Alicia is a puppet maker, but in the last year, she has been specialising in digital stuff. Hi, Alicia. Hey, Angel. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, I wanted to ask you, you went to puppet school, is that right? <gasps> That's right. I went to Curious School of Puppetry, which is a whole entire school where puppeteers and puppet makers come together to train in puppetry. And we came right here to make puppets. Oh, wow. That's amazing. What is it about puppets that you really love? Oh, well, I grew up always making things but also performing I love both equally so I think puppetry for me just kind of brought those two things together mm-hmm mm -hmm. so when you're making a puppet what are three things you need to consider oh well I think the first thing is you have to think about what you want your puppet to do because mm -hmm. if you make your puppet but you haven't thought of what you want it to do it won't work after all those hours you spent making it. So I think a really good design mm -hmm. is very important. Good design. You also have to think about how long you have to make your puppet because sometimes a puppet that you make really quickly in an hour or so can be so much fun. And so I think some of the best puppets you can make really quickly. So always think how long you want it to take. Okay, anything else? The next thing I would say was have a look at what other people are doing and get inspired because mm. you can always have a really great idea by seeing what someone else is doing really well. Oh, brilliant. There's a lot to think about there. Now, there are obviously many, many different types of puppets. What's your favourite and <gasps> why? I can't pick one, Angel. <laughs> Try. Oh, OK. I think... Just today, my favourite puppet is a surprise puppet. And that's a kind of puppet that you wouldn't think was a puppet, but has a certain personality to you um, and surprises you. And it might just be a teapot that has a silly face that you can create a character from. And I think today, that's my favourite kind of puppet. Oh, a teapot, a tea puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, can you tell us a bit about the show you created called Busy Being Z? Yes, I think you would love it, Angel. <laughs> so Busy Being Z it was a show inspired by the pride flag, which mm -hmm. is a rainbow made of all these wonderful colours. Oh, I love rainbows. And each colour of the pride flag was one of the puppet designs. So we had a red monster, a yellow monster, orange monster and a green monster. And they talked about all of the lovely things we can do to be kind to one another in a wonderful adventure show. Oh, that sounds really, really nice. Oh, thanks Angel. <laughs> <laughs> so can you now tell us about what you've been doing in lockdown? <gasps> okay, well, it was a bit scary at first because I had to close my workshop, oh. so I had to pack a suitcase and all I had to take home was a sketchbook and some colouring pencils and pens, really. I didn't have much, didn't have any woodworking tools, I didn't have anything to carve with or any paint, so oh. it was a big change for me. But at home, and I expect a lot of you at home as well, have computers. Yeah. So. I've never really had time to do anything with computers before. I normally make puppets like you, Angel. Mm -hmm. So I spent a good couple of months learning on the computer how to take puppetry into animation. But how do you do puppetry on a computer? <laughs> well, that's a good question, Angel. Well, there's a lot of really good, amazing software you can get. And some of that software you can get on your iPad or your iPhone, and you can make animations at home really easily. Oh, in fact, you've brought an animation with you today, haven't you? And a puppet inside your sketchbook. I have. Would you like to see? Yes, please. Okay. Here they are. Oh. So this is my stop motion animation puppet. Oh. And they're a skateboarder. So and how does it all work? So 
I just made this with paper, mm -hmm. normal paper from my sketchbook. And if I lift it up, you can see the puppet is made of all different parts. So let me take off this arm. Oh, <laughs> that looks painful. It's a bit sticky. There you go. Oh. So I drew each part of the puppet individually so that I could stick it back together again. And then you can move the parts like this in front of the camera mm -hmm. to make your film. Oh, and do you think our viewers could do this themselves at home? Oh, I really hope you can. It's oh. so much fun. Oh, good. We've got the instructions on our website so you can give it a go. Alicia, thank you so much for joining me today. This has been wonderful. <laughs> oh, it's been a pleasure, Angel. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye.